And now we have come to the end of the Supernatural Season 8 run. This is my video talking about the top five best episodes of Supernatural Season 8. Now, obviously my opinion will be different from that of others, but I do want to say that there were some pretty decent episodes in here. We're going to do a few honorable mentions before we get there. Uh, Torn and Frayed was a pretty good one. LARP and the Real Girl, a really fun return of Charlie, obviously. But now let's talk about the top five best episodes of Supernatural Season 8. Starting off with number five, Everybody Hates Hitler. I really like the idea of this one. I really like the Gollum. The fact that he was played by Lurch from the New Addams Family was also a bonus. But I liked them going into this different realm of uh, mythology, of a different kind of supernatural element that the show had not done. Because a lot of it had been about, you know, folk tales and urban legends and kind of American sort of related horrors. This one was delving into more European, Eastern European. I, I know they had done a few before, um, but this one was a really well done one, one that would even come back. And also just the idea of zombie Nazis coming back and having to fight them and the dude getting burned alive at the very beginning of the episode, the whole strife between the Gollum and his, the guy who was the nephew or the son of the guy who the professor got burned alive i like their chemistry just really like the character i was really surprised how well this one was done number four pac-man fever now this one was really good because this is a great charlie related episode not only do we learn more about her and her character but we also get a cool shift on a jin like it's not a full retread it's not a full retcon it is in fact a side tangent the only negative thing about this episode is the sun thing thrown at the end because it quite literally was thrown in at the end like that guy had what like 30 seconds of screen time before he got killed otherwise though i really liked charlie and dean's adventure through her brain i really liked that whole bit about letting go of people who are hurt just everything that felicia day did in this episode from her humor come with me if you want to live i've always wanted to say that to her very uh somber moments with her mom like reading the hobbit at the very end of the episode very very endearing one of the best charlie character episodes in this entire show's history number three now this is the one that i know that's going to put me in some hot water considering where it is sacrifice yes i understand this is one of the better season finales of supernatural post season five however it is not equal to and it also has some errors to it some issues to it I don't like how the boys leave Crowley in the church all chained up. Yes, he's under all the warding, but literally the king of hell. And you did this with Abaddon in the previous episode. Stupid. I don't like how Castiel's just so fucking blinded to follow Metatron. I understand where they're going with this character. And it could have made sense if it was maybe dragged out like maybe one more episode. But I feel that that part's just so poorly executed. But it does lead to something that is probably one of the most iconic parts of the episode and that's why it is so good that whole angels falling bit legendary in supernatural history and you didn't think you could have any more moments like that after season five also everything with sam and crowley mark shepherd and jared padalecki fucking kill it in this episode their performances are wonderful their strife and their bonding almost through this episode is so well done and then it's kind of ruined by dean coming in being quite selfish and having some really shitty dialogue think about what we know holding souls from hell curing demons hell ganking a hellhound we have enough knowledge on our side to turn the tide almost on the point of that of how the show came to an end with carry on i don't know i just didn't like this aspect i thought this aspect was so poorly executed considering the grandeur and the fantastic delivery by Shepard, by Padalecki throughout this episode. Those are nitpicks. They're pretty big nitpicks for me. But overall, the episode is still legendary. Like I said, an iconic moment that you didn't think could happen anymore in Supernatural. And then just everything with Crowley and Sam. Fantastic. And that is why it is number three. Number two, Benny. Yeah, he had a good episode. Being Blood Brother. This one is probably one of the best episodes of the first half of the season. If it not, it is the, the best episode of the first half of the season. Everything with Benny's want for revenge. This was the point that he came back from purgatory for. This is why he came with Dean on this adventure. To get revenge on the, the clan of vampires that killed him and turned his love. In the end, turns out that his love has become a part of that clan. And even after he kills them all, she wants to go back to killing everything and being evil. And he's like, no, that's not what I want to do anymore. And so he has to let her be killed. 
So literally everything he did, the very reason why he fought his way out of purgatory has literally been snuffed out in front of him and he had to have that happen. Just like the ball breaking storylines that happened with Benny. This wouldn't be the last time his balls got broken, but this was definitely one of the biggest moments for him in this season. Also how the episode ends with Sam and Benny meeting. That handshake so fucking good, so much tension. Kind of really wish this had been maybe the season return. Either way, the story with Benny and the clan is very well done. The tension with him and Sam is very well done. And the the camaraderie between him and Dean is so well done in this episode. I, I didn't expect it to be this good, but it was. And that is why it is number two. Now, number one, most of y'all shouldn't be surprised by this considering how much I blew it out its ass when I talked about it. Goodbye, stranger. This is the episode that gave me faith in the show again. I had lost quite a lot of it. At this point, I was almost about to quit, and then this episode happened. Between the editing and the drama between Dean, Castiel, and Naomi, so well done. Just the fighting, the the, the cuts, all so well done. The choreography is a little bit sloppy in my opinion, but otherwise, super well done. Really draws you into the tension, really makes you feel fear for Dean, which is like, holy shit, I didn't think that could happen anymore in this show. The conversation between Sam and Meg, surprisingly really good. The conversation between Meg and Castiel, heartwarming, considering the circumstances. And then Meg getting killed at the end of the episode helped solidify Crowley as a big bad for this season, a real fucking bastard. And at the same time, it was a great end for the character because at this point, the actress, uh, her disability was starting to become way too prevalent. And they said, well, instead of recasting her, let's just kill her. And she was the one who agreed to that. She would come back obviously uh, later on, I think in season 15, but she was sitting in a chair because that was all she could do because of her MS. It was really great to see her come to an end. And this, just like I said, this episode brought me back to loving Supernatural. It proved to me that there could be good stories. It proved to me that there could be good tension. It proved to me that the characters could be in danger again. It proved to me that there were still reasons to want to watch the show. I will admit, season nine, I don't remember any of it, but it, it was the best episode of the show for me uh since i yeah basically sit through season seven and eight because like i said it had a really big important impact on me and my view of the show as itself but that's it guys that was my top five best and we did it we got all the way through from when we started all the way at the beginning of the or with the end of last year we have done a review video of Supernatural Season 8 every Thursday for an entire run. We almost got close to Season 6. I fucked up with the season finale review, I think. But this was it, every single Thursday. I really hope I can do that with 9, and I very much hope I can do that with 10 up until the season finale review, which I did all the way back in 2016. Thank you all so much for having tuned in for this long, for all of this, blah, blah, blah. Very curious to see what you guys think are your top five. Give me those in the comments below and just to see what people have to say, what their versions are. Uh, at this point, uh, we'll hopefully, uh, Jay and I will have had our conversation and be very much looking forward to giving you that review. If I can keep that within the whole Thursday run, that would be great, but that might not happen. At the time of this recording, we still haven't had the conversation yet, but I want to make sure that he's good with his schedule and I'm good with my schedule. So thank you so, so much for joining me on this journey. Thank you so much for being a part of this. Season nine, I will begin that. We're watching, we're probably reviewing it, watching it again soon, but I can say that with my wedding season starting up very, very soon, I will probably not start that or start releasing the episodes until after I come back from my UK trip in October. And that would make sense too, because I wouldn't be able to give you the reviews while I was gone. I wouldn't be able to add the commentary. <laughs> Anyways, thank you again, guys. I very, very much appreciate your support. I very much appreciate your views and your time and your comments, your likes, everything. If you guys like this and you like other videos like this, check out my channel. I've got a playlist. I have now done all but two seasons of supernatural in their entirety and i hope that you guys find something in there that you enjoy and if you like this video please give it a like and if you are interested in more subscribe and we'll be on that next journey for season nine in due time otherwise guys once again thank you and i hope you guys have a good day